Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Twitch channel here, which has been rebranded to the Venom Vlog. So now I have full branding. The Venom Vlog here on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash the Venom Vlog. On YouTube, youtube.com slash at the Venom Vlog, and on Instagram at the Venom Vlog. So we got full branding now, and this is a dedication stream. This is just a way of saying thank you to the people who have supported me on this channel financially and showing up in the streams since I've been returning to this channel, although I don't return to it often. We played Midnight Suns from January, the beginning of January, all the way to the end of February, or end of uh, May, actually. So five months, February, that was only two months. So yeah, from the beginning of January to the end of May, five months of playing Midnight Suns. We put over 100 hours into that game, and a lot of you anonymously donated and uh, you know gifted subs to people each month or at random times, and it meant a lot to me. And I, I was trying to thank some of you, but some of you did it anonymously, so I couldn't thank all of you. And what I wanted to do, though, was do something as a way to say thanks. So, Because today I woke up and I saw money deposited in our account from Twitch. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. All that added up. It added up to about 70 bucks. So I will be looking at buying a new game to play here on Twitch as a way to say thank you. But for tonight, I want to get into the Final Fantasy 16 demo because this is a game I'm thinking about buying. Because one, it's new. You know, it's coming out on June 22nd and uh, less than a week from now. And, uh, and, and the demo just dropped. So I figured, all right, we'll play the demo. We'll see how the game plays. And we'll see if this is something that people have interest in and see if the people who, you know, uh, gifted subs and stuff would end up or would like to watch me play. Um, so that's what this is. So I'm going to play this demo and I'm looking for your feedback. And if you if this is not your cup of tea and you want to suggest something else, let me know um, in the comments or let me know on Instagram, wherever you, you know, can, you know, get in touch with me, let me know. So without further ado, let's dive into Final Fantasy 16, the demo that features several chapters of Final Fantasy 16's first act. All save progress can be carried over to the main game. How awesome is that? We hope you enjoy your time in Velistia. Velistia. Okay, hopefully I'm saying that right. So I won't be as blown away this time, but it's still impressive. This opening is is sick. Jeez. <laughs> Look at all the colors that are, all these orange and red colors that are flashing over my face from the TV. Wow. So check this out. You press the triangle and you're just firing fireballs. And then you got evade is the R1 button. So we got to keep an eye on him, see when he's going to shoot an attack. Oh, yeah. Did he hit me? I, I can't tell. I don't think he did. Look at that. I like that they're heat seeking. They, they go right to him. That makes uh, the fact that I don't have to aim. Ah, right. He missed us. <laughs> Sweet. No. Oh. That's so epic. I mean, look at this cave is like just massive. <laughs> This planet must be huge. Dude. It's wild. No, no, no. Oof. Hmm. Year of the Realm, 873. The Nisa Defile. The Dalmechian Republic. Hmm. I, I mean, like anything with Final Fantasy, they put a lot of uh, work into their fashion. And I love this the outfits these guys rock. These are really cool outfits. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. Hmm. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. Shiva and is dominant. Only the dominant. No one else. Okay. Where's the fun in that? Okay, so they're only going after one person. 
and it's a person that's connected to Shiva. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Hmm. Let's get this done. They're all branded, huh? On the face. I love that they have a combat director. <laughs> Bye bye, fire. Michael Christopher Koji Fox. Hmm. How do they wake up on time? They don't have an alarm clock. <laughs> I have to set like 10 alarms to get us up in the morning sometimes. Um, <laughs> and, and sometimes not, not always me that wakes up. So, uh,. I don't know how these guys are professionals. That's what it is. Focus, Wyvern. All right, so Wyvern's our main character, and we're the key to the success yes, of this sir. mission. Look at this. Focus, awesome. All right, let's go. Look at this. Game's amazing. It is just amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm coming, dude. This guy definitely has a stick up his butt. Time to move. Tilt gently to walk. Oh. So gently to walk and then hold it down. Yeah, push it forward all the way to run. Dude. So yeah, so these guys, I guess they're not involved in this. The Republican Army front lines. They're just looking for a girl who apparently is connected to Shiva. And so they're going to just mosey around this battle somehow and get to their target. Hey, what up, Chocobos? Dang. Oh. Dang. So this is neat, like, because uh, I mentioned this in, in the, the first time when I was loading this up to test it out. Um, the use of magic and uh, and how it's like, a, you know, f it's classic Final Fantasy where they make a timeless thing where they'll take an element like, you know, a medieval type setting um, and then they'll add in like something technological or fantastical to kind of give it more of a timeless look. And uh, I dig that. I love that so much about Final Fantasy is that blending of um, different, you know, centuries, essentially. The music's so good. You hear it? Oh, it's so good. Uh. So Nitra Stronghold. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not pledge? Your swords to our cause. Whoa, whoa, you, hey. Come now. Marshal, the king of Walud is our guest. And I guess he refused to help? He's a, whoa, look at that scar. You got a dude back there smoking a cigarette. And you have his majesty's answer. Hmm. Okay. So this is about the part where we stopped. And I decided, I realized my face was covering the subtitles and everything like that. So we saw this lady light up her pipe. And it's like I, the thing I mentioned right before we cut off was that it seems like this is a world where people who have abilities are using them for mundane things. Like the guy poured a glass of water from ice. Um, have you so little faith in your old man? And then her lighting her pipe, the guy putting out the fire, the trebuchets launching, you know, glowing, it, disintegrating rocks. It, it's just, it's interesting. It's, uh, again, that collision of timelines and centuries. Besides, and possibilities. <laughs> your dominant has yet to take the field. Hmm. And when he does, 
Our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. Oh. You would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Look at this dude. Should all be allowed to fall? Whoa. The capital will lie exposed. That guy's huge. <laughs> he is huge, man. Oh, sorry, Ace. If you guys hear any sounds, just Ace. Ace is just chewing on a bone behind me. Which just leaves me. All right, man. Kupka. Kupka. The iron blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. All right, this guy talks a big game. No, we just started the game, dude. <laughs> I think you're about to get a piece of humble pie. So, is someone in this room the dominant of Shiva? Because he's the dominant of whatever they are. Um, you cock. Oh, jeez, <laughs> language. Dude, you're going to get me banned. Benedict. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. Take care. This escalated I quickly. Care when he chases the hair. Or do hmm. you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. Because so she, she has my abilities. Hmm. Um, I'm not afraid is she the dominant of Shiva? But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. All right. But they work for different, like, alliances who are currently in alliance against, I guess, some kind of threat. But her side refused to help, I guess. And they're sent, apparently they're sending him out to just wipe the battlefield. Which leads us to go after our target, I guess. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Classic Final Fantasy, though. I gotta say, like, uh, I, I've played most Final Fantasy games. Not all of them. Um, but I've played a lot of them. In m multiple lifetimes, I guess. <laughs> uh, but in mine, I've played um, 7, 8, 9, and 10, because they re-released all of them. Um, and uh, I have not played 1 through 6, though, because uh, those got re-released as well. Um, I haven't played those. But I do love me a good Final Fantasy game, that's for sure. Dude, those my teammates run. Oh, whoa! Right into a cutscene. Look at that. As always. Nice. Take the van. Take the van? What? Please tell me there's like a Volkswagen van around here. Oh, whoa! What the hell is this? Titan. Titan. Oh, okay. So this is the what I think the big guy is the dominant of. Oh, and there's Shiva. Wait, okay, now I'm confused because now I'm like, well, who's operating who now? <laughs> Which one? Because I imagine that's what it is, right? Like, I think our guy is connected to Ifrit. So he's called a dominant, I think. That's why he was saying he's, like, key to the winning this battle. Um, because in case they have to go against Shiva, or Shiva, he's going to need to call Ifrit. Okay. Wow. And she's like a summon of ice or a, a goddess of ice, I guess. Dude, look at all, their own men getting just stepped on, too. Like, they. Look at this thing. That is grotesque. Yeah, I don't know who's operating who. 
is the big guy Shiva's dominant? I don't think so, because I thought they mentioned a girl. And they're kind of sleeping together, so I doubt their their dominants are fighting each other. I mean, I doubt they're fighting each other. Dude, this is sick. <laughs> this is so sick. Dang. Yeah, because he's just strength, right? Like, Titan is just, you know, earth and rock and muscle. Yes. Wow. It's making their mission a lot tougher. Whoa! You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Did he... Is somebody the Flash? Who got him? Who ran and grabbed him? Bro. Dude. This is nuts. Look, and we're watching the fight happen in the background. Dang, look at that. I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but unfortunately I gotta also, like, watch where I'm going. Dang. Okay, so you don't have to press anything to jump or any anything like that. You just run to it. Just for people to know. I mean... Yeah? <laughs> Alright, maybe not. Ooh! Yeah, okay. Standing there, bad. Got it. I, didn't, I just didn't know if we could land and not break our legs. Jeez. <laughs> it's like a Mission Impossible scene. Like, I'm trying to remember to breathe. Oh! What happened to him? What happened to me? Holy cow. Wyvern. Hey, I'm alive. I'm alive, dude. Where'd, uh, what's his name go? I told him to blast. <gasps> oh, whoa. I thought those were... You do not get to die here. Yeah, well, you left me behind, bro. <laughs> you know I don't run as fast as you. So that red on that rock is our friend. Okay. Wow. Crushed by a rock. That sucks so bad. But that battle clearly isn't over, right? Like, there's the, the, two, the Titan and the Shiva are still fighting. Wait. Oh, so we blacked out in present day. We're back in the past. 13 summers earlier. Year of the Realm 860. Rosalith, the Grand Duchy of Rosario. Rosoria? Maybe it said Rosoria. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. <laughs> I mean, I find a way. do my best. Always looks after me. <laughs> right. Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> All right, dude. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. All right. Time to do some basic sword fighting skills, I'm guessing. Yeah, all right. Let's start again from the beginning. Yeah, what do I do? Show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. Execute force when combo press to perform melee attack, up to four attacks can be chained. Okay. Show me a storm of steel. All right. He blocked all of them, but we still did it. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. 
But can huh? the same be said of your spellcraft? So we are knights and spellcrafters. Okay. Now let them burn without. Oh, flames of phoenix burning us. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. You sure, dude? Channel your inner flame. Land a fire spell five times. Press to cast fire. Okay. Back. I can take the heat. There we go. I got gotcha. you. Keep coming. Gotta. Yeah, nice. I don't know. I was just trying to make it more interesting than just pressing the triangle button over and over. You wield the firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Hmm. Or would you rather I flattened you? So we do have the do we have the phoenix in us? Because we started the game playing as the phoenix, firing the fireballs at the Ifrit. But oops, sorry, I hit the mic. But it looked like Ifrit was like gonna kill the um the phoenix. So all right, stay quick on your feet. Evade four times. Press to evade. Okay. Evading an attack at the precise moment is dealt with temporary slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to counter using square or triangle. Okay. Good. Move only when you must. Ooh. Oh, they counted that. Got him. Tagged him that time. Nice. They counted the jump when I jumped away as a dodge for some reason. I think I might have dodged, then jumped. Um, just in my frantic... <laughs> I was like, press buttons, press buttons. Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Oh, okay, for some reason I thought we were connected to Ifrit based on I think the last trailer I saw, but that's cool for the Phoenix. That's even better. Um, Ifrit is cool looking now. All right, so execute a Phoenix shift three times. Ah. Okay. Are you not blessed by the Phoenix? Then prove it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. Impressive. Getting the hang of this. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. I mean, as we just saw, our our brother gets crushed by a rock thirteen summers from now, so obviously. Okay. Your wounds mended. And your energies replenished. Oh, okay. Got some Dark Souls-ness going on. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Uh-oh. Mend your wounds. Use potions. Oh, these are the D-pad. Consume items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP. Clive? I thought we were with Vern. Wait, are we the are we playing the guy who just died? Consumables can be assigned to up, right, down via the items tab. Okay. That'll have to be for now. Cool. All right. Well, that was easy. That's better. So I could have used one big potion or two small ones and. Succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. So far, I'm liking how accessible everything is, because typically I'm used to Final Fantasy being like a turn-based, you know, action-style RPG. But this has everything at your disposal, kind of like Kingdom Hearts a little bit. Not exactly, but it feels closer to that kind of battle system. All right. Spar with me. Lord Rossfield. If worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. 
Wait, so. How that me, boy? Make proof of your strength. Here we go. Final lesson. Defeat Lord Commander. Okay. There we go. Got him. Keep going, Ooh. Whoa. Staggering Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can. Use R2. To execute rising flames. Ooh. Wow. It's time I took my own advice and used all the tools at my disposal. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. Got him. <laughs> Dude, I flawless victory to his ass. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> nice! All right. Wow. Flawless victory. Dude, good match, man. All right. Ace, look at that. Yeah, we did all right. Taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. Thanks, man. I had good teachers, bro. <laughs> oh, look at that! I did this, and he and he just did it. Nice. I know the code, man. I know the code. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, yeah, I know. We had good teachers, dude. You're awesome. Uh oh. Wait. Are, okay, I was gonna say, are those gloves or are our hands red? Whoa. What is happening? Joshua. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. We mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. Wait. The shields look after me. Joshua. Clive and Joshua, but that's why you were coughing this morning too. Who are we playing as? I thought we were Wyvern. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. Do you get new names when you get branded into the into the secret order of knights or whatever? Your Grace, please. This is no place for one such as you. I would what? gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Oh. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for Rosaria, your indefatigable okay. loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. Hmm. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Oh. Good day to you, Mother. Come, hmm. Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Yeah, I'm curious because she looks young. Like, is she not? Is she his mother, but not the other? Your grace. Clive's mother? Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to put piece together, but the game is purposely doesn't want me to. It's not designed to yet, I don't think. Hey, 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 stop. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. Hmm. We should join them. So if one if one of us is a phoenix and we have a brother that 
has some kind of power too. Is there a chance that the opening was two brothers fighting? Uh, you know, Ifrit and Phoenix? Like I said, I'm trying to connect dots maybe way too early. All right. What is... Is this a chocobo? Yeah. Oh. A giant grain one with armor. <laughs> cool. Look at his attire. He looks badass, too. I like that outfit. Red and black. Looks good together. Why am I so... Rise, my friend. <laughs> I gotta mess with this camera a little bit, I think. Welcome home, Father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Mm, okay. I feel like he's... I feel like he's hiding his true illness. What is... Torgal? It's so cute. Make a fine hound one day. Tell me we get Torgal oh, thirteen summers from now. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. Hey, Torgal, I like the name. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. That means you got a phoenix up. Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Ah. Shields dismissed. Hmm. And the girl, what's her relation? Like her there, um, with Torgal. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Going after a butterfly. I was going to say, don't leave, dude. Don't crawl through one of those and get out of there. We, Where do you think you're going? I don't want anything to happen to you. Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. Yes, I am. Let's do it. Whoa. Sunrise, sunset. Okay. Find your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a marker. Okay. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Alright, so I saw something glowing up here. Let's go up here. Need to shift this lot before we lose the light. It's it's over there. See, I wasn't making it up. Okay, uh, well, I don't know how to talk to people, but. I'm thinking we gotta find. We gotta find glowy things. Cool, so you don't actually have to initiate a conversation. You can just walk by and they talk. Okay. Good to know. Ah, uh, there's a glowy thing. Ah, what are you? Finding items. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Well, you're making it a little obvious. <laughs> uh, items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main Let's menu. Go so I got a potion. Okay. Oh, look at this guy over here making sure weapons. That, eh? Yeah. I want to be friends with the blacksmiths. I, uh, I definitely want to keep them... Keep on good terms with them, because they probably will uh, have some awesome uh, weapons for me later. You know, they might might uh, might be able to work out some trade deal with them. Be like, dude, I'll I'll bring you food, I'll bring you you know whatever, and uh, and you in exchange. Ah. Oh. Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Wouldn't do to give our soldiers spent shards. Okay. Ah, do your thing. That's cool. I didn't... Ah, some people I guess you can initiate a conversation with. 
Um, but yeah, I'll trade, you know, I'll tr uh, give them food, whatever they want. I'll trade them for, uh, for some cool weapons at a good price. Or heck, at a, at regular price. <laughs> as long as it's fair, I'll, I don't mind. I'll be like, hey, did you say it's 200 gil for that sword? Done. Then I'll keep bringing my business back to you. So he, he's got a mark. No, you don't have to bow to me, dude. He's got a mark. What's up with that? Is he a like a discharged soldier? And why is this guy such an ass? Dude, look at him. He's the guy's. He looks weak. He looks like he's hurting. Was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Dude, chill out. Stand. Be better to your workers. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Hey man, it just hard. one apple it dropped. It is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. Cool. I like a good character moment there for us, like uh, for Clive. Uh oh, so, someone saw that. Yeah, you gotta be nice to your workers, man. Come on. You're good, bro. Chin up, okay. Yeah, enough bowing. We're good. <laughs> You're pushing it now. <laughs> Torgal. Torgal likes him, too. You got this, bro. Just lift your head up at work, dude. You got this. All right. Moving on. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. Yeah, but I'm not going that way. I want... I think someone's hungry. <gasps> Whoa. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can. Wait, what? He's using a slave? We harvest stone again, apparently. No, oh, I don't like that at all. Okay. Uh, well, some things need to change around here. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dude, though. Taught me what I know. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you, young lady. All right, let's go. We found the two glowy things. What is... What's your problem, bro? Guy walked right in my way. Hey, yo. Is what's her name with me? Nice quiet in here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Agreed. Oh, there's a glowy thing over there. There's Joshua. Joshua. Marquis, forgive my man. You'll be done in the jiffy. Lord Marquis. So if if we're Clive Marquis, why are we Wyvern or whatever? later I know the irony and a guy with multiple names asking that question uh, but I still am curious oh what up what are you doing over here can I come talk to you you're like creating a storm I can't jump over this hedge what's the point of a jump button if that's your jump. I mean, sure, it's realistic. But. I will say I get a little motion sickness. I think it's because of how close I am. That's the only downside about this camera. Is that I need to buy an extension for the wire. Because for the PS5 camera to ca you know capture me. 
at a close enough angle to where you can see my facial expressions when I experienced. I will say I get a little motion sickness. I think it's because of how close I am. That's the only downside about this camera is that I need to buy an extension for the wire because for the PS5 camera to ca you know capture me at a close enough angle to where you can see my facial expressions when I experience stuff, I have to be nearer to the TV. And I have a huge TV for I, I, to, to the point where I shouldn't be this close to it, I should say. Um, yeah, I bought this TV a couple years ago when I first moved here. Um, during COVID, uh, when I first moved to Florida, they were slash TVs. This was like a $350 TV, knocked down to 150 bucks at, at Walmart. Um, and I was like, well... It's a good deal. Let's get it because I plan to sit across, you know, like a good, you know, 10 yards away from it when I watched it. And, uh, but when it comes to gaming, so I don't know if I'll always have my camera on, um, in future episodes because I need to sit back <laughs> sometimes. But for now, we're fine. We're going to tough it out. Oh, making an effort. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to use. Press X to access them and hold R2 to push or pull. Ah, so you got to time it. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's like a Resident Evil mansion. Got a staircase that splits. Aw, Torgal. Ace! Do you like Torgal? I think in 13 years he's going to be an awesome companion to run around and fight monsters with. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may hey, I there's say? a Lord Commander there. All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. <laughs> All right. Do the territory's fair any He's a cool dad. Most lie under a pall of black. Hmm. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. The blight. It is only a matter of time. Hmm. It cool name. Ace, hey, don't do that. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must hmm. move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. Come here, buddy. It is time to end it. You're too far away. I can't reach you. I can't, I can't pet you. There you go. Sorry. Ace wants some head scratches. Actually, I'm not sorry for that. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. Hey, buddy. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. We're actually going to a place called Phoenix Gate. As tradition dictates. Oh, okay. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. Rodney? That's your name? You will have heard the reports, I'm sure, of beast men from the north being sighted within our borders. Yeah. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. Oh! While Going on a side quest. Tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. For then what? You will join us at Phoenix Gate. Why? Is it to make sure those creatures don't come here while we're gone? It is time to prove your strength. Oh. Shut your mother up for good. So interesting. Why is the mother such a, a hassle towards us? Is she a stepmother? Or is she... Um, I will do my <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Or do we just not get along? 
or both. Uh, clearly both, maybe both. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Dead by dawn. Dead by dawn. So we have Shiva. Uh, Shiva Kamini Somar Kandar Krum. And now we have Rodney. <laughs> Rodney Ruxin. <laughs> so maybe this, there's some lead characters in here secretly. Um, hold blank to a or hold the center button to access the active time lore feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can be viewed during most cutscenes. Okay. Oh, hold it. Okay, yeah. Ah. So we got the castle situated in the heart of Ducal, capital of Rosalith. It is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family ruled their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. All right, so what does this say? Wait, do we have this? The Mother Crystals, enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valicia. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. Okay, so it is. They are using stuff for everyday things. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. Uh, potent sorry. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. Of course, right? People were the worst. The Iron Kingdom, also known in the local tongue as Hyderin. Uh, Hyderin. The Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital of Craig Lost. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing some of these names right. The Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking culture. Okay. This is our father, Elwyn Rossfield. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership, both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling the rebellious northern territories. I don't mention his wife in that one. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm, with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rossfield. Not, not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's breath which lies still further to the west in the midst of the boiling sea. So we don't even have uh, a, a mother crystal of our own. We just have like the little smaller crystals and they're in small, uh, they're in um, demand because like, it looks like not everyone just has a ton of them. Um, so we're going out battling and taking some, it seems like. That's what we brought, his, our father brought back from his recent conquest, it seems. So that's neat. All right, so we learned a little something today. Um, yeah, okay, we gotta go back out that way, but wouldn't it be cool if we ran up here? Oh, this is the way we gotta go. <laughs> so let's go to the other side and see if there's any, um... We drove the iron blood from our oh. shores once before, but their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to Storm. And when the Crusaders march, they move a damn sight quicker than the Blight ever did. So we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the Duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. Interesting. That does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Hmm. Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. All right. This war we need to wage. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else, 
We cannot allow those iron blood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. Yeah, you're too willing to die, bro. And I, you Take it from a guy who also feels that way sometimes. You're good. We can we can both stand down a little bit. Cool. No messages, my lord. Nothing? Okay. Good night then. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days. Maybe five. Hmm. And you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform hey, the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apodotry, so yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Wow. He's a youth of but 15 years. He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. So we're... You see more in 28 in did. the modern he was time? rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You hmm. are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. Yeah, but you're doing a good job, Your man. Father's firstborn son. Uh oh. You sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. All right. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Whoa. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood. Would long since have graced the gutter. Wait, what is going on between these two? And what does she have against Clive? We have an early start. Is he not their real son? Maybe? I mean, I, I don't know. Something's up, man. She and she was getting all hot and bothered, like, all right, I'm I'm gonna seduce my my king, my husband, and uh and then she brought up how crappy her and tainted her son is. It's like, what a weirdo. <laughs> like, <laughs> she is a strange one. Yeah, bro. Hey, who is this girl? She's just like wandering around. Walked into my room. She gets some sleep. Right. Wait, so who's the phoenix? I thought he's... Is he not the phoenix? You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, but I got a side quest first, bro. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. So it's interesting. So they all have this destiny thing going on where it's like... Too many risks. They're like, all right, we're going to go to this place and we have to do this ritual before we go to war because it's that's the way it is. And it's destined that Joshua will be transcending to the phoenix. And his brother's going to be his shield, you know, to protect him and interesting stuff. I'm going to guess that nothing goes according to prophecy. I shall just have to do it for you. Pray to Mattia. Is Mattia like a moon god? Wait, hey, hey. We crying for. This 
going to be another war, isn't there? I mean, yeah. As long as there's people. Coming here, Bless you, Ace. Begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. Well, that does sound nice. But it never really ends, does it? Not as long as there's people. No. Hi, Ace. The next war will be bigger than before. Stop doing that. You'll be all right, <laughs> won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all. And blessed by the Phoenix. The mic picks that up, bro. <laughs> He's like, he thumps his foot, his back foot. Thump, 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 thump. Like, uh, like thumper. Huh. You like doing that, huh? You think it's funny. Because you see my reaction every time. Huh. It's okay. Sorry, I'm not mad at you, buddy. You're my best friend. We should go in. Okay. My lady. You'd be good, okay? Good night, Clive. Good night, your name. I know they said it. I already forgot it, though. I'm sorry. I already forgot our father's name, too. I think it's Elsa. Hey, Moon. 